it's sleep and I'm tired, I'm exhausted mentally, physically, emotionally, psychologically, tired and exhausted from speaking up. But what I'm most tired of is the silence and the quiet from all the people who I know for a fact are not down with the hateful mobs in the streets of their cities, yet they say nothing about it. I'm tired of their silence. And I think that the truth is that they're scared to speak up. They're scared to take a stand because these mobs are scary. Because being cancelled is scary. Because saying the right thing, even though you know it's the right thing, in the face of the threat of being ostracized by bullies, or picked on by bullies publicly is scary. Which means that a lot of these people who are not speaking up, and I think it's the majority, are cowards. That's not a judgment. That's not a criticism. You know, when you say someone is a coward, it, it, it sounds inherently negative. But I mean it neutrally. A coward is someone who is scared to take action. And that's tiring. It's tiring to see and it's depressing to see. That said, there are a lot of people who are speaking up and who are saying the right things publicly. And it takes guts to do that. When I see these mobs and this hate and this intolerance and these 18, 22, 25-year-old, 30-year-old sheep who are putting hate out there with chants, with signs, with violence. When I see them, I know that the vast majority of people don't like them, don't want them in their cities, don't want them around. They just want them to go away, but they can't take that step to be vocal about it. And I think it's very sad personally, but um, you know, people are different. They, they do things differently. I'm going to keep speaking up because I don't want my children to grow up in a world where you see hate and intolerance and lack of dialogue and bullying and words that lead to physical violence. I don't want them to live in a world where you stay quiet about that. I don't want them to look at me right now and know that their dad isn't saying anything or in five years or in 10 years, no matter what the consequences. Because if we don't all speak up, then it's just gonna get worse and worse and worse. When good people do nothing, bad things happen. And bad things are happening. And I think that the only thing that's gonna really wake the people of Europe up, or the people of America, the, the people of the civilized world, I, only, I think the only thing that's gonna wake them up is probably like another 9-11. And I really hope it doesn't get to that stage. I really, you know, as someone who lost someone on 9-11, what a damn shame that people are just continuing to live their normal lives when uh, this hatred is, is going somewhere because there are not enough people speaking up against it, not enough people going out to the streets, not enough people liking and commenting and making their voices heard that they are against hatred. This has not, what you're seeing has nothing to do with the Palestinians and with Israelis. It is pure hatred of a people and for no good reason. 
And I'll tell you why for no good reason. Because there are conflicts in the world that are much larger, with many more people being hurt than the Palestinians, where hundreds of thousands of people have been massacred by their own governments. Yet, you don't hear about it. They just make more noise. And the crazy thing is they could have a lot. They can't have Israel. That's just not, that's just not going to happen. But they could have a lot. They could have had a lot in 1948 when the world divided a land and the Jewish people accepted that division of land and the Arabs did not. And since then, over 75 years, they keep rejecting compromise because they don't want compromise. But I want you guys to think of what type of country Palestine for the Palestinians would be, assuming they got it. A land that was created by suicide bombers, by parents teaching their children to hate from the cradle. A land where people celebrate the, mass, the massacre, the murder, the rape, the, the burning of families, the rocket launches of innocent people, the Israelis, for decades. You can look at this and you can say, yes, but what about what Israel is doing right now? What Israel is doing right now is a defensive war to take out a terrorist organization that is hiding against its people. That's it. That's what it's doing. And most people who understand facts know that. And yet, they're still quiet. And I'm tired of that. But I'm not so tired that I'm going to stop. And I know a lot of other people are not going to stop. And I think that the more hatred there is that you see from these mobs in the streets that are blocking traffic, screaming at people, walking into Starbucks shops with cowbells, getting in people's faces, targeting Jews, targeting anyone that speaks up for fairness and tolerance. The more you see it, the worse it's going to get for them. It's just a matter of time because people don't want to live in a world like that. There's no genocide, there's no apartheid, there's no colonizing happening, you know. It's so funny to hear that Israel is being called a colonizer by Arabs and Muslims who are the worst colonizers if you look at their history, which is fine, it's ancient, it's ancient history. The world was, was nuts back then, all sorts of crazy things happened, but now, today, to be called colonizers by, by people with that heritage, with that, you know, kind of, I don't know, like history, which is not made up, it's true, it's fact, it's just crazy. So, I don't know, people are cowards, people are scared. But I don't think that they will be for long because this hatred usually reaches a boiling point and then it explodes and it explodes on everyone. And when it does, it's not going to be good. This is not a Jewish problem. This is a Western world problem. And it's coming and it's already here in America, it's in Europe. These haters have infiltrated the government, the academic institutions, uh, city councils, uh, and the general public. And if the general public doesn't start waking up, it's going to be a very, very dark, dark world. And on that hopeful note, Stop being a coward.